Greetings and salutations. I'm Kev. Mm -hmm. And I'm Perry. And this is EU4, the random opening game. And let's get cracking. Picking up where we left off with me in, in over my head with a war. Yeah. This will be fine. Your wars can't possibly get more disastrous than mine have been. I had entire armies basically evaporate before my eyes because of the quality of the uh, Polish army. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the war galleons. Are you now? Yeah. And the transports, yeah, that's fine. Uh, what's my fleet cap? I am way below that. Uh. Now I just need to rebuild the trade fleets. Oh, and yeah, right, I'm gonna wait because we have new tech coming up. Heavy frigates! Well, if they worked out, they wouldn't be quite as heavy. <laughs> You can make new states. Oh, I'm definitely going to make that a state. What I would give for better fog of war. Okay, clergy. Here. I have some Welsh territory. Yeah, generals. I did a lot of re-rolling on that just because, and then I finally hired one from the from the aristocrats. Nobility. Okay. And that worked. His was actually and some. So his was actually good. Well, that's good. Army tradition, do I not have any? Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, no wonder. So let's see, I have to own Breda, and I have to kill the Netherlands, and other than that, I can become the... If I do that, I can become the Netherlands. Hooray? Hooray, indeed. I almost <laughs> don't want to anymore. So I just created Alaska, a new colony, and I just now got the nationalism causes ballet against the, co the country I just created. <laughs> Alaska. Alaska. Mm-hmm. All right, and I still have that problem with tiny little problem with mortality. Right, I was trying to marry you, Wimia. I need royal marriages. I've got seventy thousand incoming polls. Uh oh, yeah. And some Georgians. Oh, they're on your side, I think, yeah. Yeah, the, the okay. Mecklenburgians and Livonians were there too. Yeah, ugly. Oh, yeah, they have murked up something fierce. They have 50k mercs now, Commonwealth. So, you're fighting mostly mercs at this point. That should swing it in my favor a little bit. Yeah, it should. Oh, they're coming into small island scale. You're probably already aware of that, yeah. Oh, my entire my entire army's there. All 100, <laughs> 160,000. And you're gonna get yeah, you're gonna defending. So that's at least that with the river crossing. And they put oh Mecklenburg's king is in charge, I think. No, Poland's king. And they're still crushing me. Yeah, he's. 
I think worse than his regular generals. Yeah. He's a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. My general's mm -hmm. better than theirs across the board, but they're still just... Every tick, I, I take five times the losses they do. There, the morale losses are starting to kick in a bit. Yeah, not pretty. But you're get, get, killing him. And now to run them down. <gasps> Burgundy oh here. no! <gasps> okay, yeah, that's gonna be expensive. Ugh. No, France decided to corrupt my officials. Okay. And that just increases corruption by point one percent. Point one. How are you going? That's expensive. Ugh. Well, I can't chase him down, darn it. Yay, forts. Yeah, well, their forts are, are trivial. I can... Oh, no, I guess the forts are strong enough that I can't just run around them. There are 102 ships blockading uh, Never. <laughs> and they did have a sizable fleet. Oh! Let's see. The Emperor decided to make peace. He will cede Bamberg, Ansbach, and Oppelfalz to Bohemia. And Südtirol to Venice. And Walter to Zürich and Wallis to Switzerland. My goodness. Burgundy is back. As an yeah. independent state. I mentioned, uh, I mentioned that a little bit ago. You were listening. What? What? The, the peace? No, the Burgundy reappeared. Yeah, they just did because yeah, they released it now. Okay. Mm hmm. Um. hmm. <sighs> ah, fine. I'll take that. Uh, two, one, three air. Ah, well. One air, air, an air is better than no air. Yeah, if you suffocate, no air. you don't have an air. No air <laughs> No air meant a succession war. So yeah. Two on three, not exactly ideal, but I'll take it. My poor four four three air. Of course he had to have a hunting accident. I couldn't have something that good. Should have married him to a Lannister. Let's see, Portugal was finally kicked in the teeth by Vijayanagar. They got kicked out of Goa. And they had to return a court to Morocco. <laughs> Morocco lives. Oh, yes. Sort of. Kind of, maybe. Where are you going, big area? Jaunpur starting to westernize. 
can I afford it? Probably not. I'm gonna do it anyway. Woohoo, I'm rich! I have now suddenly I have, I have three leaders with plus three. Congrats. Uh, first time in the game, I think. I've actually had that. Woohoo! Well, I think my my, my vassals' armies have uh, met their fate. <laughs> they don't see them running around anymore. Yeah, they might well have been stack wiped. A bit too surprised. No, you can see them in open Livonia. Oh, okay. uh, yep, yep. Didn't even think to look that far north. Yeah, they usually go for the allies first, which isn't really a, usually isn't a bad idea. No. Pick off the weaker targets. Really? See, how many overseas expansions do I have still left? Oops, not what I wanted. Overseas expansion. Uh, at least it's growing shorter. Come on, take that fort. Okay, so a, a Dutch revolt for the Netherlands does not leave the Empire, apparently. Okay. <clears throat> I know that if you form the Netherlands, you leave the Empire. That's why I'm noticing, mentioning it. So, yeah. But there's still Empire. That's why, I, yeah. That's why this piece costs so extremely much. Ugh. I don't want to lose points. I need the point every point I can get. Ugh. Few unpopular reforms. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Brunei will come on a Br oh, Of course, my good general had to die early. Of course. Well, okay, Brunei, that's fine. You take that, burgers. I thought I sent a trader over there a long time ago. And some Bessie. Oh, whoops, okay. <laughs> yeah, not some busy. Um, there, Zanzibar. My goodness, no wonder. <laughs> Sent my merchant to the wrong... Yeah, I'm not used to the new, tr new trade nodes in Africa. Okay. Uh, I was guarding the inland provinces instead of <laughs> the coast. Whoops. Tempted to do this now. Why can't I? 
Okay, I have to uncore. In order to, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, the poles still, have, and there only still have a hundred thousand soldiers running around. Ouch. Yeah, no, it's it's insane. <sighs> okay. Yeah, but at this point it should be uh, mostly mercs. Let's see. They're not seventy k mercs. So they have merc in artillery and everything, so. I still worry about the morale differential and stuff. Yeah, as you should. Not exactly pushovers. All kinds of new armies. Uh, da -da -da -da. Three thousand lost. Tick. Three thousand lost. Tick. Two thousand lost. A slaughter. Yeah, I've seen. My goodness. And they got ten. I lost ten war score off of that. I win a similar fight, and I only get like two war score. I don't know what to say to that because I hell I don't know the rules. But well, yeah. The, the rules are the player loses. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's been a given for a very long time in this game. Still has 21% inflation. My goodness. They're substantial too. Huh. Uh, boyers. Cost me some.
if you end up with the ability. Whoa, there we go. If I end up with what? Okie dokie. Stop doing that. I'm gonna be so dead. Ugh. collision kind of happened. Okay. Uh, let's see, who can I get out of this? And how soon? Yeah, well, I, that stops all my warmongering. Uh, yeah. I did kind of expect it to happen, but I was kind of hopeful that it wouldn't. France will definitely join that coalition. So now I have the choice to trigger that coalition now. Well, I might still feasibly beat it. Right for France to join. Huh. Let's see, it's me, and it's... Hmm. Yeah, clearly they think you've been weakened so much that they... yeah. They can risk attacking me. Oh. Well. Now the other problem, how do I weaken my This war is getting annoying. <laughs> well, yeah. It's a darn big one, so yeah. No, and I just managed to trigger a noble revolt out of it too, so... Now I've got a, a boyer's revolt on top of everything else. It's okay, though. Mecklenburg is taking care of that. No, they're in the province south of it. No, no, yeah, but they're marching up. They're marching up to kill them. Oh, never mind. This will work out pretty well then. <laughs> I just don't know what to do about the Polish army. I mean, it's just... Yeah, it's nice and tasty. Ah, oh, boy. But keep in mind that they are mercs, so... 
I think at least one stack I saw had only infantry in it. Now they're all currently stacked together, so. Yeah, I see that one of them is yeah one is twenty six k regiments of infantry. Yeah, well, the, most of them are infantry at this point. You can always try just to reduce them. So if you went up and sieged Liv Livon in order and just got kicked them out of the war, then you know, at least a few troops, fewer leaders to deal with, yeah. and just let them sit on a siege somewhere. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. I mean, if they want to sit on a level 6 or 8 fort during winter, that's their prerogative. Oh, well, Livonia's capital is only a level 1 fort. Well, that should be relatively easy. Yeah, so we're going to go play with that. That's the other thing, if you make a short truce with the Livonian Order, um, but don't cancel the alliance. You can attack the one in order as soon as the truce is up, because then you can be at war with the Commonwealth again and crush them in another time. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> of course, that will take. F then you have to keep the war going for five years, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Even given their strength. I've got serious problems, though. I now have a looming disaster. Oh, which one? Aristocratic, uh, arist aristocratic coup. Oh, yeah. Oh, well that. Oh, you. Yeah. You can't uh, revoke territories during war, can you? Oh, I can. No. Can you? I've already done it. Just remember that when you do that, you can spark a rebellion. I, I think. know. That's the remember the, the rebellion Mecklenburg just went to deal with. Oh, okay. That's where that one came from. It's, I don't even know what to do at this point. It's, I have to drop nine percentage points from the boyers. Don't even know what to do. Yeah, is there a modifier that'll expire soon? No, that's the problem. Awesome. Okay. I don't think there is. Yeah, everything I have increases their influence, increases their influence. They have nothing. And of course, it's also reducing my manpower recovery speed and maintenance modifiers, so I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't really have any tips for you on that. I'm sorry. That's... Figure they get this far into the game and then screw up Russia. Yeah, I'll recover somehow. They should be willing to take a piece at this point, oh. I would assume. It's oh no, they're not even close to that. Even when I had them much more of their territory, they they just laughed at it. And speaking of laughter, time for a pause. It's time for a pause. So, see you uh, okay, okay. See you next time, folks.